Hey guys, welcome back to another can review. Today we're checking out the Trader Joe's Cacophony and Euphony. All right, so the Cacophony and the Euphony are two beers that are offered at Trader Joe's and uh, they have some sort of musical connotation to them. There's a, there's a donkey on this one, but there's also like horns and bells and on the side it says, hear the loud alarm, alarm, bells, brazen bells. So we got a 5% mosaic pale and a 5.2% lager. I guess let's just start with the lager. Yeah. Definitely. So again, we're not sure who actually brews these because on the cans it says, brewed and canned by Campanology Brewing Company, Wanaki, Wisconsin. However, when Sandra Googled these guys, what did you find out? There was no actual website for this brewery. Um, it seemed that the word on the street from a few articles I quickly read was that there is some speculation as to um, the brewery, the, the true name of the brewery is, is uh, Octopi or something like that. Was, and it's in the same place in Wisconsin. How can they have two names for one place? I don't know. It could just be like the whole contract that they have with Trader, Trader Joe's where they can't actually brew beer through their name and they have to brew through a separate name. Hmm. Interesting stuff. Well, either way, uh, wheat with what? <laughs> English, what a gush of euphony, voluminous, 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 <laughs> voluminously wells. None of this is English. This not this doesn't make any sense. It doesn't say anything about how it should taste or what's in it or anything like that. Just an alcohol percentage, a recycled thing, independent craft brewer certified sticker That's logo though. Of... All right. Anyway, let's get into it. it smells like a lager. Smells weedy, a little bit grassy. Some lemon notes in there. Oh, hmm. pleasantly surprised. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Now this can, I think, is a little bit old. Yeah, okay, ten thirty eighteen. So mm. that's probably what I'm tasting there. I, I'm not getting a lot of like carbonation, like not a lot of punch to it, um, and I think that's probably the reason. Right? There. But I mean, hey, it was a dollar, wasn't it? Apparently, so. Trader Joe's lets you mix and match like uh, Total Wine. If you're familiar with the Total Wine stores, you can just grab whatever beer you want, just pick them, even if they're closed and if they're already in a six pack, you can open it up. And yeah, just grab them out of it. it's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's better than I expected it to be. I remember trying the uh, uh, what was that one? The uh, Simpler Times. I mean, I'm sorry guys, but the simpler times, it's a good beer for the money, don't get me wrong, but I think this is way better. Yeah, like, for like way a buck better. more. Yeah, for a dollar more for a whole six pack, totally a better beer. There's way more hop character in there. It's it's a, just a bigger, a bigger punchier beer. It's pretty good. Okay, so we're back. We washed out our glasses and uh, we're gonna try the cacophony. This one has a donkey on it, so I'm excited to see what this uh, brings to the table. It's bright pink. Wow. Uh, you'll see what I see in a minute. It is a bright pink can, isn't it? Cacophony. Now, I'm guessing by the title, by the, the names of these beers, that Euphony is a little bit more subdued, a little bit more gentle, and then Cacophony is going to be a little bit more raucous. Mm. Yeah, it smells... Straight mosaic. Yeah, it's straight up mosaic hops right Ooh, there. my favorite hop. Wow. It's really, it's quite intense. More intense than I uh, expected that to ever be from a dollar Trader Joe's beer. This is a pale ale. Okay, I'm going to taste it. What? Mm. Yeah? What? Mm. You gotta remember, this is a dollar. 
right? This is no super ultra craft beer. We can't even figure out who the brewery is. It's not as pale ale as I expect it to be. There's not a lot of bitterness. There's not a lot of, um, even though it smells like straight up mosaic on the nose, when you try it, it's almost like it's missing everything that you just smelled. <laughs> I mean, you definitely smell it right up front. Mm -hmm. It's in your face. Yeah, and then Very you try intense. it and you're like, oh, where did everything go? More subdued than expected, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. I would have loved to see this be a little bit more like uh, raucous, like the can says. It's supposed to be a cacophony of yeah. beer ingredients. I'd expect it to be a bit more bitter than what it is. It's super smooth. Yeah, if it was more bitter, it'd probably be really good. And if it had like more of that hop taste, yeah. that would be cool. That would be cool too. I feel like this is a single hop beer. Though. It is. It I probably really, is. I really think this is one of those beers that use a single malt, single hop. Just personal preference, I would, I would have liked to see a little bit more character in there. But like, for a if it's a dollar, buy it. Yeah. Right. Like, you're not going to find a better beer for a dollar. I don't think. Value central right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one's pretty good too. Uh, although I enjoy this one a little bit more, I will say. Yeah. Uh, we actually have a couple more Trader Joe's beers in the fridge to review, so you guys stay tuned. Next time we'll cover those as well. All right, well, that does it for us. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button for notifications when videos come out. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.